The murder rate in D.C. continues to rise. It's now approaching a 15 year high and get this homicides in the district are up 95% from where we stood just five years ago. 95%. That's according to data on the D.C. police website. And you know, for families of the victims, the pain is only made worse when the killer is not caught. Now, a WUSA 9 investigation uncovers a troubling trend with D.C. police's murder investigations. The rate at which murders are solved in D.C. is way down so far this year. Our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is looking into the reasons why and what that lack of closure means to these families. On a warm summer afternoon in Annandale, inside a cemetery known as Pleasant Valley, Jolita Marshall visits her granddaughter, Ronell. I missed the phone calls. I miss the things we do together. There's nothing in this world can ever replace her. Marshall and other family members come here daily, birthdays, holidays, all spent at Rennell's grave. The 21-year-old Northern Virginia woman, who family called Ray Ray, murdered on the streets of Southeast DC more than a year ago. When the months and the weeks and now more than a year has gone by without somebody being brought to justice. How does a mother deal with that? You don't have closure. You don't know why. You have so many questions and no answers. There's, I mean, there's nights I don't sleep because I just want to know why. Why my daughter? Why her? She didn't bother anybody. Speaking via Zoom, Rennell's mom, Arlita, told me her daughter was simply sitting in her car, picking up a friend to go to a movie when she was gunned down during the afternoon rush hour on busy Alabama Avenue, which is why Marshall doesn't understand how no one has been arrested. Her frustration now turning to anger at DC police. It's like, once the cameras stopped rolling, my daughter's case was pushed to the back burner. Our detectives are passionate, they work hard, and they never forget their victims. DC Police's Assistant Chief of Investigations, Leslie Parsons, told us murder cases are often not solved as quickly as family or even detectives would like. But a WUSA 9 investigation revealed Ronell Marshall is among a growing number of unsolved homicide cases piling up on the desks of DC police in 2022. Records we obtain show MPD's clearance rate for homicide cases, which is the percentage of murder cases that are solved, sits at 48% so far this year. That's less than one out of every two murders leading to an arrest right now. And that is down about 20% from where MPD's homicide clearance rate has been at the end of the year for the last four years. By comparison, neighboring Montgomery, Prince George's, and Fairfax counties all show anywhere from 85 to 93% of homicide cases solved so far in 2022, although those police departments have far fewer murders to investigate than MPD. But Chief Parsons told us looking at his department's closure rate in the middle of the year is misleading. So this is not a major problem in your eyes? No. In fact, Chief Parsons didn't blame staffing issues, DC's rising murder rate, a lack of community support, or really anything else for where his department's homicide closure rate sits today. To be clear, you believe you'll be up towards that 70% mark by the end of the year? I, I believe that our closure rate will increase. I can't give you a number. I can't tell you where it will be because that's based on us closing cases. Hoping to finally close Rennell Marshall's case, her family is taking matters into their own hands, handing out posters offering a $25,000 reward from the city for information leading to an arrest on what would have been her 22nd birthday. I just want them to catch the coward that killed my grandchild. We need to get justice for Ray Ray. Yeah, in the meantime, please take a look at this picture. If you have any information on the murder of Rennell Marshall, you can leave an anonymous tip by calling 202-727-9099 or by texting 50411. DC Police is offering a reward of up to $25,000 for any information that leads to an arrest and conviction 
in Rennell's case.